and welcome to Foreign TV News. My name is Brittany Salisbury. And I'm Pastor Ronnie Burton. And this is our third show with you guys. This is our third show. Can you believe that, Pastor Ronnie? And time is flying away from eternity. We're in that season, Brittany. Amen, amen. <laughs> so we totally enjoy doing the show. Um, we look forward to doing the show every month. And this month, we are excited to talk about um, the two guests that we had last yeah. month. And that is ex-Satanist John Ramirez and his pastor, which is also his spiritual covering, Pastor Alex Saraga. So we're going to talk about um, just the highlights that happened as they were here with us. Um, some of the things that they said that really stood out to us that was really powerful yes. um, that we wanted to share with you guys to encourage you guys and just share um, just where things are at right now. And they touched on that as well. So with uh, John Ramirez, he came in. So we picked him up from LAX, right? Yeah. So fun as soon as we picked him up. I mean, he's laughing. He's joking. He's talking to the camera. Uh, we picked him up with his uh, assistant. Her name was Denise. So they were at the Cheesecake Factory and they were revelating um, about the Word of God. And um, it, it's not very often that we can see someone um, be able to break bread with Pastor Michael because of just the, the level of understanding he knows. And um, they were talking about the Torah and the tabernacle and the Hebrew foundations. And it was so beautiful just to see this interaction. And uh, Pastor Alex even said it at church when he was ministering here is that how can two people who never met Right. on opposite sides of the country, you know, only met for the last 24 hours, um, know so much of uh, similar truths, you right. know, in, in the Word of God. And I think that it was so refreshing to hear him speak um, because there were such similar things that we've been taught by our pastor. And um, I mean, for for someone who was in the meeting like yourself, what did you think of Pastor Alex and what he shared with us as a Know, to our whole church. The moment he opened his mouth, our church erupted. He had to yeah. sit down, sit down. Multiple times. Because there was, yeah, there was this place of identity. There's this place of community. There's this place of camaraderie. Mm -hmm. It's like we found our tribe. Mm -hmm. He's on the East Coast. We're on the West Coast. Right. The word says, as lightning shines from the East to the West. You know, I thought of here is um, when there was that big move about the Pentecost, um, speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. There's Seymour and Parham. There was a, a Caucasian man and a black man. Yeah. Here are two pastors filled with the fire That's of right. revelation. Yeah. And the moment we got together, it's like, Lord, it's happening. Yeah. It's happening. It's bringing are, the remnant together. The remnant is coming together. There are other revelators around the world. It was just exciting. Yeah. So we'll definitely touch more about um, what Pastor Alex said because it was really, really amazing. But um, with John, when uh, we got him, like I said earlier, um, through... Um, coming to the airport, to the Cheesecake Factory, and then we went back to his hotel and did some more interviews. And then the next day, we started off doing um, radio at Foreigner Ministries Radio with Pastor Michael. And um, he shared a lot of interesting things. He was sharing about how, you know, that Christians think that you guys are not, you know, bringing a sacrifice to the devil on Halloween. Um, and But you really are by dressing up your kids in some kind of costume. Mm -hmm. Like if you dress up your kid in a mermaid costume, that's actually a marine spirit. Wow, yes. And I he remember. was talking about how, you know, watch your kids because one day they just start, you know, killing people. He says, you got to look back at what, what you allowed your kids to do on Halloween. That was the open door. Right. And um, I think that was very enlightening for for people to hear because so many Christians still celebrate Halloween, you know? And you know, Brittany, on the way down for this uh, photo shoot, I drove by a church. I had the big sign, Trunk and Treat. Mm. You know, so they minimize it. They call it the Harvest Festival. Yeah. So they are seduced and they oh, it's Harvest, but it's Trunk and Treat. Change the words to Trick or Treat. It's Halloween. They're celebrating Halloween and they're Christianizing it just like they were Christmas and Easter. Yeah. And they're inviting, like John is saying, all these dark demonic spirits right. that are seeding the souls of the children and the people exactly and he was saying how why do does the church have to celebrate the world's holidays it, that's that's not who we are we're called to be set apart and so you don't hear too many ministers who say that so i really appreciate that he talked about that so heavily um, another thing that he mentioned that i thought was very interesting is um, just about how he um, had a radio show that he was doing and uh, a lady called in and she happened to be Marilyn Manson's girlfriend. Wow. And so a lot of people are familiar with Marilyn Manson. Um, he's a musician and a very dark one. Um, I was sharing with Pastor Roni before um, we, we just started filming is that he asked his uh, attendees to, to kill animals. <laughs> 
um, before the service, um, before the, um, the, the night of uh, whatever music. And uh, he does a lot of disturbing things. And so he's very deep into demonic activity. And so the girlfriend called John um, crying out for help and wanting to be set free and wanting to be delivered. Mm -hmm. And he said he walked her through that and um, that now she's able to, um, um, I guess, live a normal life. You Amen. know, and yeah. that that's really, really exciting, encouraging. And you were also talking before before we um, started filming is that his previous background in Satanism has helped him to set people free like that. That's correct. Yeah, he uh, will tell you look at his videos and his testimony that he was number third ranked. Yeah. So he did spells and warlocks and witches is very competitive. That's the nature of that yeah. culture. But it, nothing happens in that culture without blood. Mm. So they killed the blood of animals. So Manson having you know animals being killed is all a part of that ritual. Yeah. We know that the word says that the life is in the blood yeah. and that Yeshua's blood. He said the spirit, the water and the blood are in the earth in us and is one. And it's the blood of Christ that cleanses us. It's the blood of Christ that rescued John Ramirez. Amen. And because of his experience, he was able to walk someone that was deep in darkness and to get them to the light of Yeshua, Amen. which is very powerful. Yes, yes. Pretty exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, we had him go from radio to, we had a foreign TV luncheon at the Spring Valley Country Club. Um, it was so fun. It was a beautiful time. I mean, we had worship oh. and then uh, we um, had three interviews with Michael Beckman. Um, John Ramirez and Pastor Michael, and they all shared such incredible things, you know. And then after that, um, the all of them did um, interviews with TV and Salsa, which that's really exciting. We yeah. want to thank Donna for coming out um, with uh, her show, which is uh, Faith with a Flavor. And um, then after that, after we left the lunch, and then we had the evening service here. Yeah. And man, it was a packed house, right? And the worship, as that's they say, exactly what was, was off the hook. <laughs> You know, so we were just dancing. We yeah. started off uh, a libertad, you know, a yes. libertad in the, in the, you know, the glory of God in the house. Mm. And it was just a beautiful time of the power of God and his giving us light into the darkness right. that he's come out of. So extremely exciting. Lift up your voice and praise him, praise him. Lift up a shout and praise his name. Lift up your voice and praise him, praise him. Lift up a shout and praise His name. Lift up your voice and praise Him, praise Him. Lift up a shout and praise His name. Lift up your voice and praise Him, praise Him. Lift up a shout and praise His name. Lift up your voice and praise Him, praise Him. Lift up a shout and praise His name. Lift up your voice and praise Him, praise Him. Lift up your voice and praise Him, praise Him. Lift up your voice and praise Him, praise Him. Lift up your shout and praise His name. Lift up your voice and praise Him, praise Him. Lift up your shout and praise His name. Lift up your voice and praise Him, praise Him. L
while um, John was here, he was sharing about his testimony that he was born into darkness. He was born into witchcraft since he was eight to the time he was 35. And um, he would just kill people for fun, you yeah. know, and uh, through witchcraft. And he would even kill other witches because he, like you said earlier, it was very competitive and he wanted to be number one. Um, there was things that he said, too, that stood out to me is that um, about um, just the things that he would talk about concerning the devil. And, and he said that the devil can tell you scripture and then he'll distort the scripture because he knows if you don't have scripture or any revelation of the word, you bite the bait. And that's something that Pastor Michael talks about very often yes. is how mm -hmm. you have to have a strong foundation in the word of God and not just the literal understanding of the word of God, but the, the depth of the word, right? The Absolutely. Meaning. You know, Paul tells us that the letter kills. Mm -hmm. And if we look at the temptation of Christ, when after 40 days of fasting, he goes out to the wilderness, the devil brings him the scripture. Yeah. He didn't bring him a horn, uh, a horn and, you know, a cauldron. He brought him the, the scripture. And yeah. he says, hey, since you're the son of God, turn the stones to bread. Man doesn't live by bread alone, but by the revelation yeah. of that word that comes from the mouth of God. So you're absolutely right, Brittany. Unless we understand the revelation of the word, the devil will quote the scripture. And that is the satanic verses. Yeah. You know, Antoine LaVey, who wrote the satanic verses, just do the opposite of what the scripture says. Right. And that's what the devil does. And it's a big trap. Yes. And he yes. talks about there's so many entrapment and patterns and cycles of the dark side. And that these patterns and cycles also, the religious system is what the devil loves. And I thought that was interesting that he said that as well. And that the easiest uh, people to put witchcraft on was those who didn't even believe there was a devil. Um, they were easier to target. He says easier to come after their mindset. Um, he also said that the devil knows how to paint a Jesus that's not a real Jesus, and uh, he counterfeits it. And so he says a lot of the church thinks they're worshiping Jesus, and it's it's not. It's yeah. not the true Jesus. And um, I thought, well, I feel like I was there at one point where I thought that I knew Jesus, but yes. I, I didn't really know him. I have to come into agreement with that. And thank God for our, our pastor, Michael Petro, who has taken the veils off of our eyes. Yeah. But in the book of the, uh, Second Thessalonians, it says that God would send them a strong delusion right. because they did not have a love for the true Christ. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's after our own hearts that we produce the things that come forth. Right. So the devil loves to play games. He's a liar. He's a trickster, he's an illusionist, he's the ultimate magician, and he's yeah. a counterfeiter. And he presents a Christ that is a false Christ. And unfortunately, most of the church now is worshiping a false Christ. Yeah, and he, was, he even said that the body of Christ has lost its discernment. Mm -hmm. And so when you lose the discernment, like you're saying, because there is no love of the truth, there is no foundation, there is no depth of the word. Um, it's just like um, you're numb, you know, yeah. and you don't know what's real, what's fake, what's... Um, what's, who's a true apostle, false apostle, um, false prophet, true prophet, and the list goes on, right? That's correct. And at the end of the night, he ended with, um, you need to let go of your idols in your life. Um, and that these idols would bring a stronghold in your life. And he's not talking about physical idols, but spiritual idols. And, um, you know, spiritual idols, like could be your kids, your husband, your job or whatever. And that Whatever is an idol in your life, it's an, um, you're not allowing the Lord to be first. And so that's always something good to hear, you know, is like yes. just to give a check to all of us that, hey, is the Lord first? Because, you know, what does the Lord say in, in Scripture? Seek first the kingdom, kingdom of, of God, God and, and his, his righteousness. righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Amen. 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 Raise your hand. God bless you. Raise your hand. God bless you. Matter of no, fact, come up to the front. Tia, come up to the front. Come up to the front. I Venga want to give you my divided. Come up, come up. Amen. Si come, up. Tu mano, come, up. Paso al come up. Amen. Come up. Come up. The devil don't have to own your life. Come up. Come El up. Enemigo ya no tiene nada sobre tu vida. Come up. Amen. Come up. Come up. Come up. Only God. Come up. Come up and I pray for you. Pasa come acá al frente. I pray Quiero for you. Come up, I pray. You're not saved. You don't know Jesus Christ. Come. Si tú no, come. Si tú no eres come. salvo, tú no conoces a Jesucristo. Come. Come. Ven aquí al frente. Ven, ven. Come. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't let the devil sit you and lie to you. Say, oh, you can do this tomorrow. You might walk out of here and die tonight. No pierdas el tiempo. No dejes que Satanás te esté diciendo, no, no, no come. pases. Pueda que hoy salgas de aquí y pueda que mueras allá afuera. Come. Ven. Ven al frente. Come. 
Come, bang, bang. I pray for you. I guarantee you, in 30 days, you will not recognize your life. You're going to see the things that God going to do in your life. Te aseguro que en tres días tú no vas a reconocer tu vida. En 30 días, tú vas a ver la vida tuya, va a cambiar. En una, un, en una dramática solución en tu vida, va a cambiar. Que tú vas a ver, que tú vas a abrir tus ojos. Tú vas a ver el, la gloria de Jesucristo en tu vida. Y tu vida, por la primera vez, va a servir para algo. You will see the glory of Jesus in your life in three come, days. Come, ben, come, ben I pray for you. Ben. Come, I pray for you. Yo Don't orar sit por down ti. and die. Don't sit down and die. Come, I pray for you. No te quedes sentado ahí muriendo. Ven, yo quiero orar por ti. It's not where you start; it's where you finish. No es como tú das, como inicias, sino como tú terminas. Come, I pray for you. Ben, ben, quiero orar por ti. Come, I pray for you. Ven y voy a orar por ti. Come. I tell you, it ain't, it ain't not like Jesus. I don't care what you say. It ain't not like Jesus. I don't care how many candles you light up. I don't care how much you talk to the dead. I, that stuff don't work. Mm. Ain't not like Jesus Christ. Come. No hay nadie como Jesús. No importa cuántas Nothing candelas. Nothing like Jesus Christ. No importa quién tú hayas adorado. Never, no hay ever nadie ever como Jesús. I will never ever go back to witchcraft. I'd rather die and go home with the Lord before I go back to witchcraft. Yo nunca voy a regresar a la brujería. Prefiero morirme, morirme y irme con Jesús. Come, I pray for you. Come. Ven, I wait quiero for orar you. Por I ti. give you two more minutes. Come. Dos minutos más para que pases Come. aquí al frente. But look what God has done. Pero mira lo que Dios ha hecho con mi vida. And how much He's going to do for you. Ahora imagínate lo que va a hacer con tu vida. Raise up your hands. Levanta tus manos. Up your hands. Levanta tus manos. You can come up here, Denise. Take the picture from up here. I want to see these beautiful faces. Raise up your hands. Levanta tus manos. Take a second or two. Raise up your hands, my sister. 20 segundos. Levanta uh, tus raising manos. up your hands is a sign of surrender. Porque levantar tus manos es una señal de rendimiento. Lord, here I am. I'm done. Señor, aquí estoy. I try everything. He probado todo lo demás. And nothing worked. Y nada funcionó But today I'm gonna try you. Pero hoy yo trato contigo, Señor. And I give you my life. Y te doy mi vida. Say, Lord Jesus. Di, repite conmigo, Señor Jesús. Today, hoy, I made a decision. Hice una decisión. Thank you for bringing me here today. Gracias por traerme aquí en esta noche. Because I know. Porque yo sé. That you don't make mistakes. Que tú no cometes errores. There's a plan and a purpose for me today. Que hay un plan y un propósito This para is mi my vida. day. Este es mi día. So today, si que ahora, forgive me. Perdóname. For my sins. De todos mis pecados. I repent. Yo me arrepiento. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Forgive me. Perdóname. Fill me. Lléname. Touch me. Tócame. Change me. Cámbiame. Transform me. Transformame. Tell you what, what you want me to be. What you want me to be. Hazme lo que tú quieres que yo sea, Señor. My life is yours. Mi vida es tuya. Do as you please. Haz como tú quieras. Come into my heart. Entre mi corazón. Be my Lord and Savior. Sé mi Señor y Salvador. Lord Jesus. Jesús, Señor Jesús. What you've done for John Ramirez. Lo que tú has hecho por John Ramirez. Do it for me. Hazlo también conmigo. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Amen, people. Come on. Amen. Come on, people. Amen. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now let's talk about Pastor Alex. Hallelujah. So his spiritual covering, who preached the next day. Yes. So we talked about this before, but one of the things he opened up with is that greatest spiritual warfare is obedience Amen. to the word and to the Lord. I love that line because we can do so many things, but here's a man that was also a revelator, I think 15 years, and he's mm -hmm. preaching this message that our pastor, Pastor Michael Peter, has been preaching for 18, 20 years. Yeah. So when the two got together, he, you know, he, felt, he felt like his spirit leaped yeah, that's inside right. of him, just like John the Baptist. You know, when Elizabeth and Mary met, their spirits leaped, and certainly based upon that service. And you can check it out online. Yes. The entire audience, our spirits were leaping yes. when he spoke the word. It was hard for us to settle down because we were connecting with the revelation of the word of God, which is truth. It was just an amazing. Yeah, he touched on a lot about holiness and how we need to consecrate our ears and um, our eyes and our mouth and our feet so that we can walk and we can hear and we see holy 
Um, and, you know, that scripture comes to mind, be holy as I'm holy. Yeah, man. You know, and that um, it was nice to, and refreshing to hear someone preach so much about holiness and righteousness uh, because we don't see that, you know, in the in the church. It's all about grace or, you know, a lot of the prosperity gospel. And he broke down um, a lot of the tabernacle. Amen. Um, you know, the outer core, the holy place and the holy holy, 30, 60, 100 fold realm and saying how, I'm not talking to the outer court church here. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking to, um, you know, a church no. that's beyond that, Amen. you know, and uh, he, he mentioned how the, a lot of the church is in the outer court, you know, and it, it looks like the real deal, and but it's a natural fire, not, right. not the actual spiritual fire that the Lord is um, wanting us to walk in. Yeah. And, you know, Brittany, he mentioned a text that one time it was seared in my spirit. And that I don't think that happens uh, as often. Typically, you want to memorize something. But Second Chronicles twenty nine eleven, right. and he says, uh, "My sons, this is God speaking to now these manifesting sons, the man child." Mm -hmm. He says, "Be not now negligent, for the Lord has chosen you, yeah. you know, to stand before Him and to serve Him, yeah. and that you may minister Him and burn incense." And he says, "You do these things. That's the that's the priesthood in the holy place. Yeah. You're not going to fall away." Right. So it was just exciting to see that. Yeah, yeah, and he said. Um, we need to have a constant prayer life because yes. for what's coming, the forces that are coming, that we need to step up everything. So yeah, we step right. up the studying, we step up the prayer life, and um, that we need to walk in truth and integrity. And integrity meaning what you do behind closed doors is who you are in, in, to everyone, correct. you know? That's and I correct. thought that was really, really awesome that he said that, that the Lord is going to have. He didn't say like the Lord will, um, the Lord um, is looking for, but it, I think it was interesting when he said, he said, the Lord will have a pure church with pure leaders. Hallelujah. And uh, that's what I know that Forerunner Ministries International is about, is that we want to be that bride um, that is pure. And then obviously we also want to be that son, you know, um, and like you just said, the manifested sons, because what does that scripture say? All creation cries out for the manifested sons. Mm -hmm. And something Pastor Alexander said, it says, the water is broken. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, so uh, this baby's about to be launched. Ready or not, here we come. And it's time now to go out and get the harvest mm -hmm. because the harvest is ripe. The, the, the world is hungry and they're mm -hmm. crying and they're needing yeah. of the message of uh, salvation, the true one. That's right. He said, the glory is only minutes away. It's time to cut some things off, leave, leave some things behind. The glory must come to purify us and to purify our motive and our brains and our soul and our will and our intellect and our emotion. And, um, you know, right now, if there was ever a time to really consecrate yourself and set yourself apart Amen. and be holy and be about the word of God, it's now. Amen. Um, because of where we're going into the season, the transition, it's already here. Everybody feels it. Everybody is picking it up in the spirit realm. So um, we just want to encourage you um, to, to walk in that lifestyle. And if there is anything that you guys need, we have plenty of resources, right? Uh, Pastor Michael has so many teachings online that are available at foreignertv.com that you can um, get yourself um, into and start really just drenching yourself in the word. Fire came from heaven and consumed the burnt offering. He finished praying, then fire came and consumed what? The burnt offering. Are you burnt yet? Yeah. Hebrews chapter 12, present your body a living sacrifice. Present your body, the members of your body. It's going back to the priesthood. You are the meat that's got to be thrown in the fire. And after you're burnt, they got to cut you open, take out all your insides, burn them. Consecrate your ears so you can hear holy. Consecrate your eyes so you can see holy. Consecrate your mouth so you can speak holy. Consecrate our feet so we can walk holy. Okay, okay, okay. Sit down. The fire came. After the burnt offering, what the burnt offering was consumed. We want the glory, we want the fire, we want sometimes we're looking for this, this outer court fire. The only fire that was in the outer court was the fire that was on the brazen altar. It was natural fire lit by natural light. And that's not the fire I'm talking about. Now if, 
outer court, holy place, holy of holies, 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold. Watch this. Let me finish. is the problem with the outer court church it's a natural fire it is not spiritual fire it looks the same it's like gold plated it's like a fake Rolex it looks the same might even tick the same but it ain't a Rolex as after a while you'll see that the gold will not be the same then we got a lot of people that look like gold but when the fire hits we'll see who they really are But I didn't come to talk to all outer court people. I came to talk to people that are striving for a holy dimension in God. Sit down. So uh, welcome. We'll see you at the next installment of Forerunner TV. And uh, God bless you. The kingdom of heaven is transitioning. Be a part of the glory realm. Blessings.
Blessings, I just wanted to greet you and wish you a happy Hanukkah holiday season. I know that Hanukkah's passed and you know the season of lights is really in the Hebrew calendar a time and a season of introspection, the light of God, the revelation of God. We know that in uh, the book of Revelations chapter 1 verse 20, the seven churches are the seven golden lampstands and those seven golden lampstands really speaks about us, the body of Christ, the church, not one, being filled with the Holy Spirit, with the anointing oil, and two, uh, for us to be illuminated and uh, really the fire to be burning in our heads or the top of our heads. And as God has brought us through the season, there's so many confirmations coming into 2018 about the season and the time that God is bringing us into many signs and wonders I feel are getting ready to be manifested in this year. Actually, I sense in my spirit we're getting ready to see this manifestation of the glory of God at a whole other level. There's just things happening supernaturally. Um, miracles that are those phenomenal type, creative type of miracles. One of the brothers in the church had uh, four cancers on his skin and uh, literally we prayed for them and that night they fell off and one of them just dried up. So with those type of miracles, you know that the Lord is doing something that is uh, breathtaking, that is trying to get our attention. So one of the themes that the Lord has been speaking to me in this season is that He's taking us into a time and a season of, of transition or change. Uh, today I was watching Sid Roth and he was interviewing a prophetic brother and uh, that man was talking about how the, he had a visitation from God, that literally he was on the verge of dying from cancer. God came to him and said, it's starting. The end time move is starting. And not only is that end time move uh, starting, but now the transition is here. And that is a word I've been using almost every service that it's time for the transition, it's time for that time, it's time for that season. That man, his name was Jim Maloney, and uh, if you go back and you listen to some of the tapes or some of the uh, earlier tapes about why I'm in California, it was all because of that man's prophecies back in the 1980s. But now uh, he's literally saying that an angel had come to him and told him that the transition for the next move of God has begun, it has started, that God is getting ready to bring everything into a new season and there is gonna be this intense end time revival released into the earth and everything pretty much he was saying I think has to do with you and I. And the things we've been talking about, I really believe that this season, this season of illumination, this season of light is manifesting uh, a whole new understanding of the Word of God. Clearly, light, illumination, speaks of divine understanding. The oil in Hebrew speaks of the divine uh, breath of God. So when you put the fire and you put the breath together, the oil and the fire, the breath, hallelujah, and the fire, you get a, you get a uh, fire coming out of the mouth of God. You get a fire being released by the church. You get a... a manifestation of the Garden of Eden. And so we need to understand that God is calling the church into this next season. And I just spoke to the church last night, uh, which was Sunday night or Monday night, and I told the church that, hey, get ready for release. And literally as I was sitting here today before we started this broadcast, I got a call from some friends in Australia and they're saying, hey, took, take a look at this. I really think that we're on the verge of seeing just a release, not only financially. I've been waiting for a financial release. Um, the reason I've been waiting for that financial release is not just because of things that we need, facilities, those type of things. The Lord spoke to me years ago. He said the first will be a financial release, but finances in the Bible is also likened to the word glory. So he said there would be a financial release, first the natural, and then the spiritual, then the glory of God. That's what I've really been waiting for, to see the manifestation of the glory of God. So I know that I know that I know there's coming a huge release financially. And secondly, it's gonna kick 
us in to let us know that the glory is on the way and that uh, I think those two are going to be very close together. So as we come into this 2018 year, you know, it's, we're right before the new year right now, 2018. There's a lot of things being said about this year. Uh, the rabbis are talking about the year of redemption as we're even talking tonight. A lot of things about uh, North Korea are being talked about by our government, by our military, uh, by, the, by the rabbis in Israel talking about where we're at in God's redemptive plan. And saints, this is the season. I, I can tell you uh, right now from the bottom of my heart, when the Bible, when the Lord says, you know, when you leave your house, don't go back in. The rabbis say it's time to put on your, put on your Sabbath clothes. I'm telling you now is the time to have your Sabbath clothes on. We're gonna see this transition happen. We're gonna see God do incredible things. This is not gonna be church as usual. We're gonna see the power of God in 2018. We're gonna see the time of transition in 2018. And we're gonna see the blessing of God in 2018. There's gonna be a lot of other things. There's gonna be turmoil. There's gonna be other things. Uh, uh, anytime there's been a move of God, there's always been usually a world war. So as we are talking about World War III right now, I mean, it's just being thrown out there by everybody. The U.S. as, uh, as right now, tonight, they're putting troops up in Norway right on the Russian border uh, because of things that's happening with Russia. It's, it's, it's a serious time, but in reality, it is a picture of what's happening in the spirit realm. There is incredible manifestations right now, especially concerning the UN, Israel, and the nations coming against uh, Israel. Israel dropping out of the UN as a sign of the Battle of Gog and Magog. What we're seeing are end time events. I, it's amazing. It's almost on a daily basis. I get up, I take a look at what's being said on the news, and I'm going, wow, another Bible prophecy. Wow, another Bible prophecy. We are in a time frame when things are moving extremely fast. So we are in that season of transition. We will see the transition. 2018 will be the year of transition and redemption. And we, you and I, as the rabbi say, we need to put on our Sabbath clothes. I hope you've had a wonderful holiday season, but make sure your menorah, the menorah here and the menorah here is fully lit with the fire of God. Make sure you bought the oil for your lamps and make sure your lamp is overflowing with the oil of God because this is the season you wanna be in that overflowing anointing. So may God bless you. May God bless your home this year and may both of us see God's redemption and this coming 2018. May God bless you and we will see you next year. Blessings, I just wanted to greet you and wish you a happy
Heavenly Father, we worship you today, Lord. We praise you, Yahweh. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Lord, that all of creation declares your glory, Father. God, that when we, when we praise you, Father God, that the universe desires to praise you, Father. The universe reflects, Father God, your nature, Father. And through all the things that you created, Father God, we can see you, the creator, Lord. Father, we thank you, Father, for opening our eyes to the parables, Father, that are all around us, Lord. Father, the rain that is your doctrine falling from the heavens, Father, the wind that is your spirit moving on the waters, Father God, the waters of humanity, Lord. We thank you, Father, for the righteous trees that reach up toward the heavens, Father, as you've called us to be firmly planted, Father God, striving to the heavens, Father God, to see your face, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for the glories that we see shining down on us from the heavens, Lord. Father God, the birds that make their abode in the sky, Father. That we would set our mind in the heavens with you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for all these things, Lord. Open our mind and our hearts, Lord, so that we could see and, and perceive these things of you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that you've brought us to that place. Where deep calls out to deep, Father God, and we can see the things of your kingdom, Father. Remove the veils from our faces, Lord. Remove the veils from our hearts, Yahweh. Help us become more like you, Father. Help us become more like you, Abba. Father, let this house be a house of worship, Father. And every house that is in this place, Father. Let us be wise as we walk and wise as we speak, Father God, to release your presence, release the light that you've put inside of us, Father. That light that gives us life that we could give life to others, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. You've called us into that marvelous light. And you've called us as a city on a hill, Lord, that would not be hidden, Father that all could see the light that is shining from that place. God, let us be that place, Lord, that is illuminated with the fire that comes from your throne, Father. And let all see that light that comes from us, Father. We just thank you, Father, for the work. We thank you, Abba, for the work that you're doing in us. And we praise you and we lift you up today. May your name be lifted high. We thank you for your presence and your spirit in this place, in this house, Father. Why don't we all put our hands together, amen? Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise the Lord, all His angels. Praise Him all, His heavenly hosts. And the sun. Praise the Lord, you 
them praise the name of Yahweh, for he commanded, and they were made. thank you Lord that you bring everything bring everything together Father God in us in our minds and in our hearts Father God so that we could be completely aligned with you and your spirit Father God we love you Lord and we thank you Father for your will and your plan today Lord to reveal yourself to us Father God through the word Father God as we come together we worship you Lord we just ask Lord that you would Have mercy upon us today, Lord. As we come before you, Lord, broken, Father, we come before you, Lord, 
dirty, Lord, but you wish and desire to cleanse us, Father, to make us whole, Lord, to make whole the broken parts. Father God, to bring back together the things that have been separated, Lord. Father God, to bind up the brokenhearted, Lord. That is your will, Father God, that's your desire, Lord. That we would not disdain those, Father, that are young, Father God, or those that are not, Father, at a high level, Lord, but Father God, just as you showed mercy to us, Lord, God, inspire in our hearts, Father God, to have mercy on others, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you desire to bring us all, Father God, to that unity of the faith. Father God, that we would be united on the foundation of revelation, Lord. That we'd be drawn together by the blood that you've imparted into us. The DNA that you've deposited in us. The DNA that is your word, Yahweh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Abba. Do a mighty work today, Lord. Do a mighty work in this place, Father. Bring everything together, Lord. Bring everything together, Father God, for your glory, for your righteousness, Lord. That you would be lifted up, Father. We could give glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Just open your mouth and begin to thank Him. Say, thank you, Lord. We have so much to thank Him for. We have so much to be thankful for. Amen. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Father. Father God, we want to be in your presence today, Lord. Fill this place with your presence, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father. Press into his presence. Just thank you, Father, for your presence, Lord.
Let's open up the heavens today, Father. Open up the heavens over us today, Lord. Have your way in this place, Yahweh. It's you and you alone, Lord. just bring our entire selves in alignment with you, Father. Father, we just leave aside and cast out, Father God, the things that are contrary to your will, plan, and purpose, Father. Let this life be a life of surrender to your will, Father. Surrender to you the word.
himself can keep me in the ground. There is no power. There is no power in heaven or hell that can keep me from the love of the Father on his throne. There is no power in heaven or hell that can keep me from the love of the Father on his throne. The chains of sin can hold me down.
Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Lord, that we're alive in you, y'all. We just praise you, Lord. We praise you, Father, for the life, Lord. Lift up a shout of praise to our King, amen. Let this house be a house of praise today. We praise you, our King. We praise you, our Father. We praise you, Yahweh. We praise you, Yahweh. We praise you, Yahweh. Hallelujah.
Father, you've called us in to be forerunners, Father, to go higher and to go deeper, Father, than the rest, Lord. God, you're raising, you're raising us up, Father God, to fulfill that name, Father, to be the ones that go before, to be the ones that go higher, Lord, to be the forerunners, Father, to be the ones that are first, Lord, to be the voice that cries out first, Lord, to be the one who breaks through first, Father. You have called us into that name, Father. You have called us into that place, Father. In this time and in this season, you have called us to be forerunners, Father, for the message of the kingdom, Father, for the word of the age to come, Father, to go forward, Lord. You have called us to be forerunners, Father. And we thank you, Lord, for that expectation to be thoroughly formed and engrafted into us, Lord. That we would go higher, Father, into your glory. That we would go higher into your mystery, Father. That we would press deeper into the revelation of your word, Father. That we would run harder, Father. Because that's what you've called us to be, Father. That's how you've called us to walk, Yahweh. And Father, we cry out today, Lord, that you would lead us and guide us in your righteousness, Lord. Lead us and guide us. Show us your ways, Father. Raise us up in that wisdom, Father. That your kingdom could come through us, Lord. Father, your kingdom is not built with bricks and mortar, Father God, but it is built in the hearts of men, Father. And God, we set our eyes on that kingdom, Father. That city that is prepared as the bride, Father. That your kingdom would come through us. That your kingdom would manifest through us, Father. First in our hearts. First in our minds, Lord. Because you've called us to be forerunners, Father. You've called us ahead. You've called us first. You've called us into that place, Father. Father, that we would go higher, Father. Into your glory and into your mystery, Yahweh. To see you face to face, Lord. We love you, Father.
Cause my heart is in your hands. Keep me closer. In my life, I make a stand to follow you only. Every word that you speak will stand forever. So speak now to me. I'm waiting here for you. Open the heavens, let your glory come down. My heart burns for you. Jesus, for your presence, for your holy fire. Open the heavens, let your glory come out. My heart burns for Yeshua, for your presence, for your dreams, my perfect plans lie here, surrender, one touch and all I am is filled with wonder, every word that you speak will stand. My heart 
burns for you, Jesus, for your presence, for your holy fire. Open the heavens, let your glory come out. My heart burns for Yeshua, for your presence, for your we're standing. Don't listen to my voice right now. Know that you're prophet, priest, and king. It's time to call down the anointing in this environment of worship. The holy angels are here. The heavens are opening. Open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and declare the kingdom is now. Call for the healing. Call for the anointing. Call for the signs and wonders. Call for the miracles. Call for the 30% increase in your mental capacity. This is the time to go through walls, to go through dimensions. Believe, believe, believe. This is the season. This is the season of calling it down. Pull on the anointing for the harvest, for the harvest. Pull on the anointing for our healing, for our restorations as prophet, priests, and kings. You are the voice of Yahuwah. You are the oracle of the Most High. Open your mouth and declare.
Hallelujah, way. Hallelujah. 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 Avail it, Lord, open up the heavens. The prayers of the righteous avail it. Open up the heavens. The prayers of the righteous avail it. Open up the heavens. The prayers of the righteous of open up the
Praise you, Father.
lift up your voice and call on the rain. Sing it out. Oh, Elijah was a man, a man like us. He prayed for the rain, and the rain did come. He asked for it to stop, and the heavens to shut. I know the prayer of the righteous, a man of much aid. Elijah was a man, a man like us. He prayed for the rain, and the rain did come. He asked for it to stop, and the heavens to shut. I know the prayer of the righteous. in the footsteps of John the Baptist and in the footsteps of Elijah Father to be the trumpets in the earth Lord to raise this shout to prepare because the kingdom is coming Lord I pray Father God that that infuse that 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 title that name Father God that character and that function infuses into us Father and fully fully becomes our character and our function Father that we would realize the call Lord that we would have a revelation of where you have called us, Father. How you've called us to walk. How you've called us to stand up. How you've called us to declare the word of truth. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, that the spirit of Elijah dwells in this house, Father. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. The spirit of Elijah resides upon this house, Father. Hallelujah. Wait. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Bring up the low places, Father. Bring down the high places, Father. And make straight the way, Lord. That is the commission, Father. That is the commission, Father. Father, you have released the word into this house, Father. Through your servant, Father. 
Through your servant, you have released the prophetic word, Father, that will bring down those high places, Lord, that will bring up those low places so that the sowed field would be made level, Father God, and the way of the Lord would be prepared, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you've prepared us, Father, that your kingdom would come through us, Lord, that you would manifest yourself through us, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us a heart of war, Father. You've given us that spirit, Father God, to not suffer the violence of those that come against your kingdom, Father, but to stand, Father God, in holy violence, to stand for the truth, Father God, and to take the land, Lord, to take the land of promise, Father. You've opened our eyes to the promise, Father. I will not suffer the enemy to inhabit my land, Father. I will not suffer an enemy to possess the inheritance that you have released to me, Father. Your word says that that land belongs to your people, Father. We will possess the land, Father. We will possess the land, Lord. Hallelujah, way. Hallelujah, way. Hallelujah, way. Destroy the ites in this land, Father. Destroy the ites in this land, Father. Father, your word says that land belongs to us, Lord. Father, even those that desired to receive it, Father God, you withheld it, Father, for this time and this season, Lord. You withheld that promise for this time and this season, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. It is the time. It is the season, Father. We are watchful, Lord. We have oil in our lamps, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. We have eyes to see, Lord. We have ears to hear, Father. You've given us those, Lord. You've, you've given us that mark of the covenant, Lord, the circumcision of Abraham, Father. Which is not a circumcision of natural flesh, which profits nothing, Father. But, Lord, cleanse our minds, Father, and raise us up in maturity, Father God, to walk in that manner, Lord. To walk with the authority and the boldness that Elijah did, Lord. So that when he called on the rains, they fell, Lord. He commanded the rain, Father. He commanded the rain to fall upon the land, Lord. And when he told it to stop, it could not come, Father. Because of the authority that you imparted into him, Father that he went and received, Lord. He saw in your word what you had, Father. He saw in your word, Lord. He, 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 he seen the veil removed from the Torah, Father God, and walked out the power and the authority, Father, that you had for him, Lord. But, Father, that same spirit that you put in him, Father God, is not done. That same spirit that you put in him, Father, is in this house. We hear the voice, Lord. Make us become the voice, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Make us become the voice, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
We just thank you for your presence. Father, we thank you, Lord, that, Lord, this place has become the tabernacle, Father, of your presence, that we have become the divine habitation for the revelation of the divine nature of who you are, Lord. Father, we ask that you take us, Father, Father, to dwell with you, even as Enoch did, even as Elijah did. Father, take us into that place of the fullness of your divine nature, Lord. In the precious, precious name of Jesus, the name of Yeshua, the name above all names. We glorify you, Lord. We worship you. Father, we say, we, we, we just sacrifice, Father, everything for you, Lord. We ask, Father, that everything, Lord, just be sanctified in us. We thank you, Father, in the precious name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Before you're seated, grab the sacraments. Hallelujah.